Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of the Drift Lambo build series. So we're gonna get our content manager opened up. So if you guys remember from last episode, we did get the suspension, the car, and the drivetrain all set up, took it for our first rips. So the car is actually rear wheel drive with some proper suspension and good I and I for drifting and everything like that for the car. So now we're going to talk and we're going to get the brakes set up. We're going to get the tires set up and then we're going to also get the data set up for data so that we can do a setup data so we can actually make some adjustments because if you would go into this car initially and try to make adjustments in the suspension there is none you can't do much suspension or drivetrain or anything setup wise so we need to adjust that we need to adjust brakes so we can get a handbrake because we all know we do utilize a handbrake when we're drifting when you're chasing and things like that so with that being said we're going to open up our folder for our drift lambo and we're going to go into data and we're going to go take a look because as you can see brakes for the factory uh drift sesto which is the factory sesto stuff you have brake graphics and then you have torque and all that kind of stuff like that and handbrake torque cockpit adjusting and adjusting step like that so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the data for my e36 brakes for my drift car so with we have Notice we don't have as much for the E36 as we do here on the Sesto. We want to have maximum brake torque, shake, but it's the handbrake nomination that we need to change. We also need a cockpit adjustable as well as adjust step. So we're going to leave all of this data here, but what we're going to do is we're actually just going to, we're going to copy that data. We're going to copy the brake disc data. We're going to copy that text. And then what we're going to actually do is we're going to take the brakes I and I out of. Well, we're going to have to double copy this. So we're going to have the E36 over here. And then we're going to have the drift lambo over here. I'm going to open up this brakes here so we can save this folder. But what we want to do is we want to copy this, copy it into here. And then we're going to control V and we're going to place the brakes in the drift Lambo. Now, since I left this open, this is still going to be here. So we're going to copy that. We're going to close that because that no longer exists. And we're going to open up. We're going to go back and open up the brakes I and I from the drift Lambo, which is right here. Now, if you notice, it has the same stuff that me 36 had. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're just going to copy paste that brakes graphics in there. Why? Because we're going to kind of keep that in there for glow and stuff like that if we keep those rotors on the car when we do the modeling. So we're going to save that. So now we have a handbrake and everything working in the car now with that data. So next data we need to work on is tires. So I keep closing that folder. I should just leave it up. So when it comes to tires, that's throttle. That is not tires. When it comes to tires, it, we do have semi-slicks, and then we also have some hyper some hyper tires. So I think we're actually going to keep the hyper. We're going to try driving it in hyper tires and see if those work. And if they do, we will get rid of everything. We're going to keep those factory tires. But now we need to worry about a setup. So if you go into setup folder, you'll notice this is where all your adjustments and things you can adjust minimum, maximum for camber and stuff like that and fuel and brake bias, but you can't do anything else. You can't do dampening. You can't do diffs. You can't do anything like that. So if we take a look at the folder and the setup data that is in my E36 and compare it to the factory stuff in the sesto you notice there is a lot more when it comes to suspension there's no suspension one in here so you just have so this is where you have your rod length your wheel rates and everything like that and the full adjustment and then you get into where this one has the sesto which is on the right where the camera adjustment and everything like that and then if you go down there's no damper controls so this E36 has dampers, 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 all kinds of stuff. And then you also have gear ratio adjustability, which you don't have in the Sesto, which we're not actually going to mess with. We're going to leave the gears out. We're not going to be able to adjust the gear ratio in the Sesto just because of the fact 
uh, we want to keep the same drivetrain but we also we need drivetrain then we need generic for brake bias and brake everything like that so what we're gonna do is we're just going to take over the setup folder the setup file as i say from my e36 which will give all the adjustability but we're going to delete some things from the sesto so we're going to paste this over here replace the setup folder and then go back into it i don't know why i clicked out and then if we go into setup right here now we have everything we can adjust we can adjust tire pressures we can adjust suspension we can do alignment we can do dampers and everything like that but we're going to come down where the gear ratio was and we're actually going to remove the gears so we don't have gears we'll keep the drivetrain so we can do the adjustment of the dip and stuff like that and then of course we have fuel we have front bias and brake power now so with and we're going to save that once we delete that so with that being said now we have in the drift sesto we now have brakes we now have power suspension for relieving the factory power we have adjustability and we have a handbrake so now we should be able to do a lot more testing so we're going to switch over to the rig and we're going to get this car onto the track again and try the different tires and try doing some suspension adjustments and see if we can get the car to be super grippy and whatnot and also we'll have a handbrake and everything like that so let's hop over into the rig and we're going to get this car on track and then we'll go from there all right so now that we are in the actual game we do have the drift system out now we should be able to go we don't have gearing but we have tire so we're going to put on the hypercar tires we have fuel adjustment electronics we're going to turn that off but now see we do have alignment adjustments dampers we have diff power which we're just going to max out and lock out and then we're going to drop that down now we have bias and brake power which is something that we definitely need which we're going to go we're going to go 80 80 just to start off and see where we're at and then if we go suspension, we have wheel rates and everything like that. So we do have a lot of stuff now that we can adjust with all that being set up. All right, we're going to go full send now. Now we have a handbrake and everything like that. So we're good with that. And now we're going to go see if we can uh, get some lines in here with this car. Make sure we have no trash control turned on. Off, yep. Ooh. These tires are actually really grippy. If you notice, we're uh, not really breaking the traction as easily as I thought I was going to on these tires. Well, we're getting it. Oh, that felt weird. That felt weird in the front. So these tires are good, but they might be a little weird. So let's go back. Let's take a look at that replay of that, though. And see what it actually looked like from outside. That car sounds and looks so cool. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of understeer there, so. But overall, not too bad. We gotta get some fine tuning and we gotta find a good a good set of tires for this power band. We may have to do some gearing adjustment in this because I'm noticing that it bogs a little bit in third but that is a very solid solid line that car looks sick all right so let's go back to pits let's go back to the other tires we'll go to semi slicks we'll drop this down to about 21 and see if maybe these don't have as much grip and maybe if we can get a third gear ripper out of this
yeah, those other tires are really gripped up. Because you notice we can actually break traction in third and fourth. A little wall tap. <clears throat> was a little more than a wall tap. So, going with the factory semi slicks, we have the wheel spin I want. Except for when we're cutting to the grass. Definitely feels very light in the front end of this car, though. Might be something we need to adjust with wheel settings for this car. Yeah, the front end feels very light. If you know, There's a lot of understeer. There's not much grip in the front. So I'm wondering if that has to do with testament to the tires or if it's something that involves with the gear issue. Because where are the gears at? See, we should be okay. But it does have a little bit of weird feeling in the front. Uh, let's drop that wheel right down a little bit. And we're going to drop... We're going to up the wheel rate in the rear. We'll see where that... See where that goes. Kind of bogs. Yeah, we got a little bit of a light feeling in the wheel. Now, I'm wondering if Maybe we just need to bump up the force feedback in on our wheelbase, actually. Because we're not running too high. Or we can actually just bump the feedback up in the car. Pull up force feedback controller on the side. And let's just kick the drift Lambo up to 125. So that back off the side and see if that helps. Oh yeah, that is much better. I think we need to adjust the force feedback. Or find a different set of tires. But overall, this thing is already starting to be a fun car. Force gear is a little sluggish. Just tanking off limiter in this car, though. This car is actually very, very flowy. It likes to snap really quick, and that's probably because, you know, all the weight on this car is actually in the rear of the car. Trying to, oh, be easy on the throttle to try not to bang rev limiter show so much. Okay. <clears throat> it did not like that. Bet you my tires are really hot. Oh, yeah. I believe I have tire wear on. I believe I just totally smoked these tires. Let's see. Did we not have tires? Did we blow them? Are they broken? We have no tires. <laughs> oh, we are absolutely out of tires. That is one thing about fast tires like that. These things go real quick. Let's take a look at the replay to end this episode off of those final runs. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. If you guys enjoy this, if you guys want to keep seeing more on the Drift Lambo, let me know down in the comment section. Definitely having a lot of fun building this. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this. And uh, I do appreciate all the support from everybody. That car is definitely getting it. That was the fourth, third gear. We try to keep it off the limiter as much as possible. A little bit of a wall tap there. Yeah, this car is coming along quite nice. So next episode, we'll probably get into 
doing some of the modeling changes and stuff like that and styling changes of this car. So if you want to see that, make sure you guys do tap that subscribe button so you guys can get it when it comes out. We've got a lot of cool things coming here very shortly. So make sure you come back and see another video. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.